hi everybody welcome to live blogger in this video i'll show you how to create this category selection buttons over here using html and css and after that i'll show you how to add these buttons to your blogger website so that when you click on any of these buttons you'll be taken to the posts with these tags so let's get started <laughs> Right here I have created this folder called category selection and I have this folder called images and in that we have these images which we're going to use in our design. Alright let's start by creating the necessary files. So let's click on new file and let's create an html file I'll just name it index.html and let's create a css file I'll just name it style.css and let's start with the index.html file. Now in VS Code you have the shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic html5 code. And here let's link our CSS files. So let's tap link and press tab. And in the SR file, just tap style.css. All right, let's start with the HTML of the category selection buttons. So let's create a container division and let's give it a class of categories container. And in that, the first thing we need to have is a heading. So let's create an H2 for that. And in that, we'll tap explore a category. And after that let's create these three buttons and for that let's create a container division and let's give it a class of categories list. Now each of these buttons are actually links so we need to create anchor tags for that. So let's create an anchor tag and uh, we will add the link later so I'll just type hash for now. And uh, let's give it a class so let's give it a class of single category. Now in this anchor tag, we need to have the image and this text. So let's create an IMG tag and let's give the link of the image. So let's tap images forward slash and the first one is for technology. So let's type forward slash technology.jpg and we need to have a text. So let's create a division with a class of category title and let's tap technology over here. And let's open this in our browser and let's see how it looks. So I have this extension called live server installed in VS Code. And once you have installed that, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. So here we can see we have the heading and the image and also the text. So let's go back to our HTML and let's copy this anchor tag and let's paste it two more times. And for the second one, we have exotic cars. So let's change the image name to cars. And here in the category title, let's type exotic cars. And then lastly, we have photography. So let's change the image to photography.jpg. And let's change the text to photography. All right, that's it with the HTML. Now let's write the CSS. So let's go to a style or CSS file. And first of all, let's target the categories container division. So let's type dot categories container. And first of all, let's set the font family to Roboto, sans serif. And we need to have two styles of this font. We need to have this bold font and also this thin font. So first of all, let's get the link of the fonts. Here I'm in fonts.google.com. So let's search for the font. I'll just tap Roboto. And let's click on this font. And we need to get two styles from here. So we need to get light 300. So let's click on light 300. And we also need to get a bold font. So let's select this bold 700 and let's click on this button called view selected families let's copy this link from here and let's go back to our html and let's paste it inside the head section so I'll just paste it right here right now let's go back to our css and let's continue styling this let's also add a max width so let's type max width and let's set it to 900 pixels now here we can see in the original design we have these three buttons one next to the other so first of all, let's target these buttons and the buttons are inside this uh, division called categories list. So let's target that. Let's tap categories list and let's set the display to grid. And now we need to specify how many columns we have. So let's type grid template columns and let's set it to 1FR, 1FR, 1FR. This means three columns with the same width. Now here we can see we have these three buttons one next to the other. Now let's specify the width and the height of these images. So let's type categories list IMG and let's set the width to 100% and the height to 100%. And let's also add some gap between these uh, buttons. So let's type gap 
and let's set it to 4 pixels. Right now let's go back to the categories container and uh, let's add some more styles. So let's set the background color to white and let's add a box shadow and let's set the values to 0, 4 pixels, 40 pixels, negative 8 pixels, RGBA, 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.3 and let's also add some padding and let's set the padding to 8 pixels, 16 pixels, 16 pixels and 16 pixels. Right now let's style this heading. So for the heading we have an H2. So let's tap categories container H2 and let's set the text aligned to center and let's set the color of the text to 444 and we'll also set the margin to 16 pixels top and bottom and 0 for left and right. Now here we can see these images don't have the correct aspect ratio because we set the height and the width for the IMG tag. So let's go back and here let's add a line of code which is object fit and let's set it to cover and now we can see we have the correct aspect ratio for all the images. Right now let's style these single categories. So here we can see we have this anchor tag with a class of single category. So let's type categories list single category and let's set the height to 160 pixels and we'll also remove the underlines so let's type text decoration and let's set it to none right now let's style this text so by default the text will not be seen over here and if I hover over these images we have the text displayed so let's go back and uh, for the text we have a division with the class of category title now the category title will be positioned relative to this single category. So here I'll just type position relative. And now let's target the category title. So let's type categories list, category title. And uh, let's set the font weight to 300. And let's set the font size to 24 pixels. And we'll set a background color. And let's set it to RGBA, 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.8. And we'll also set the position to absolute. So let's tap position absolute. And let's set the top to 0 and the bottom to 0. And also the right to 0. And also left to 0. And now here we can see we have the text being displayed. Let's also change the color of this text. So let's tap color and let's set it to white. And let's set the text transform to uppercase. And we will add a padding of 16 pixels. So let's type padding 16 pixels. Now this title should be displayed in the center vertically. So let's make it a display of flex and align items to the center. Now this is how the buttons will look when we hover over these buttons. By default it should look like this and when we hover over this we need to display the text. So let's go back and let's do that. Here for the category title let's type transform translate y and let's set it to 100%. So now it will move 100% to the bottom and we'll also add a transition so that we'll have smooth animation. So let's tap transition all to 300 milliseconds ease. And now we have to hide these category titles. So for that let's go back over here to the single category and here we need to type overflow hidden. And now we can see that the text is not being displayed. Here we'll also add opacity of 0. And now let's add the code for the hover. So here let's type category list, single category, colon hover. And here we'll type category title. And let's set the opacity to 1. And we'll set the transform translate y to 0. Now let's go back to our design. And now if you hover over this, we can see that the title is being displayed. Right now let's make this responsive. So we will add a breakpoint for less than 800 pixels. So here let's type at media and let's set it to max width of 800 pixels. And here we will have only two columns. So let's target the categories list. And let's type grid template columns. And let's set it to 1fr, 1fr. Right now let's go back to the design and let's decrease the width of the browser. And now we can see there are two columns in our design. And for the third button we will set the width of this button to the full width of the categories container. 
So for that, let's go back to our HTML and for the third button, let's also give it one more class called full width. And let's go back to our CSS. And here we'll just type categories list full width. And let's set the grid column and let's set it to one forward slash three. So this will extend it to two columns. And now we can see for the third category button, we have full width. Now let's add one more media query. So let's type at media and let's set it to max width of 540 pixels. And here let's copy these two selectors and let's paste it over here. And here we'll type grid template columns to 1FR and the grid column to 1 by 2. Now when we are on a smaller screen, we'll also display the text by default. So let's type categories list, category title and let's set the opacity to 1 and transform translate y to 0. So this is how the design will look on a smartphone and this is for a tablet and this is for the desktop. All right, that's it with the design. Now let's add this to our blogger website. Right here I'm in the dashboard of my blogger website and here we have these posts and here we can see I have also added labels for these posts. So here we can see photography, tech, breaking news and so on. Now to add a label you can just go into a post and uh, here on the right we can see labels and here you can add the label. Right now let's go back and uh, now we have three labels in our website. We have photography, tech and breaking news. In our design also we have three labels over here. And if you want to add more labels you can just go ahead to your code in the HTML and just add more anchor tags over here and also make sure that you have the full width class added to the correct anchor tag. Right now let's go back to our website. Now let's open this website so let's click on view blog and this is how the website looks so here we have all these posts displayed over here. Now to display posts from a specific category or label you have to just type the name of the website forward slash search forward slash label and forward slash the name of the label. So if you type tech here we can see all the posts with the label tech are displayed over here and if I add let's say photography. Here we can see all the posts with the label photography are displayed. Now we can go ahead and add these links to our buttons. So let's add this inside our website. We will add these buttons inside the home page. So let's go to the home page and we will add it below this header. So let's right click over here and go to inspect and let's see what is uh, the tag called. So here we have the centered top and uh, then we have the header. So this is the header. And after that we have this division so we need to add our design between the header and this division. So we have to look for the end of the header tag. So let's go back to the dashboard and let's go to theme and let's click on this arrow and click on edit HTML and let's search for the end of the header tag. So we can just press command F or control F and let's type less than forward slash header and here we can see this is the end of the header. So let's make some space over here. Now here we need to add the HTML. So let's go back to our source code and let's copy all this HTML from here and uh, let's paste it inside here. Now here we need to update the links of uh, the images and also the href. So let's go back to the page and here we can see we have the URL for photography. So let's copy this and uh, let's go back to our theme code. And let's add the link over here for photography. And in the same way you can add it for the other anchor tags as well. So here we have the other tag. Let's check out what is the other tag. And the other tag is breaking news. Let's change this to exotic cars to match with our design. I'll just update this. And uh, Let's go back to our theme code and here let's type exotic and for the space you have to type percent 20 and then you have to type cars and then lastly we have technology. So we have a tag called tech. So let's paste it over here and here let's change this to tech. And now we also need to update the links of these images. So we don't have this images folder in our blogger website. So we have to upload the image somewhere and get the link and paste it over here. Now for that we're going to use a service called Cloudinary. 
right here i'm in cloudinary.com you can just create a free account and log into the account and go to media library and now let's click on upload and let's click on browse and here we have the images for our design so let's select all of these and let's click on open and all the images are uploaded over here let's copy the links of these images and paste it over here so first of all let's copy the link of this photography image let's click on this button called copy url and let's go back to our theme code and uh, let's go over here to photography and i'll just delete this link and paste the current link and in the same way let's go back to cloudinary and let's copy these cars and uh, let's paste it over here and then lastly we have technology and let's paste it over here right that's it with the html now let's go ahead and paste the css so let's scroll up and uh, this is all the css of the theme let's go to the end and let's add the css over here so let's go back to our source code and let's go to the style.css file and let's copy all of this from here and let's paste it over here and we also need to add the link of the font so let's go back over here to html and let's copy these three lines of code for the font and let's paste it over here in the head section so here i'll just paste the links and uh, let's remove cross origins from here because we have some errors and uh, let's click on save and we have a problem over here in line number 12 that's because we have this ampersand symbol over here now since this is an xml file we have to type ampersand amp semicolon and let's save it and now we don't have any problems so let's go back to our website and let's go to the home page and here we can see we have these categories buttons now we have some problems in the css so let's right click over here and click on inspect and uh, let's select the element which is categories container and uh, we need to add a margin so here if i just type margin let's try 16 pixels and i think that works all right so we need to add a margin of 16 pixels so let's go back to our code and let's go to the css and here let's type margin and let's set it to 16 pixels and let's save it let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and now we don't have any problems in the css let's decrease the width and let's see how it looks and i think here we need to change the margin so we have less margin over here for the other elements so let's right click over here and let's go to inspect and uh, let's try a margin of let's try 8 pixels and i think that looks all right so here for the smaller screen we need to set the margin to 8 pixels so let's go back to our code and uh, here let's type categories container and let's set the margin to 8 pixels and let's save it and let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and here we have these buttons let's decrease the width of the browser and here we have the correct margin and then lastly here we have the mobile version so everything is looking all right now let's click on these buttons and let's see whether we are taken to the correct page so let's click on the first button for technology and here we can see we are taken to the technology page over here and let's click on the button for exotic cars and here we can see we are being shown the posts for exotic cars and let's go over here to photography and here we have the posts for photography displayed so everything is working all right so that's basically how you can add category buttons to your blogger website all right that's it for this video i will leave the link of the source code in the description and if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day